cut the carbon or wear glasses, gloves, and I'll put a mask on. Yeah, I'm getting old. I got to use spacers on my stem, get me in a better position. Two reasons. One, I'm old. Two, um, this is supposed to be a Fondo bike, so I'm going to be on it for a long time, five, six, seven hours. So I want something that's sort of comfortable. But these are cool. These are little Linsky titanium spacers, five millimeters. Two on the bottom, stem, one on the top. I'll use some fiber grip on this with my stem. Right, it is torqued to spec. Okay guys, I'm done for now. On the front end, I've cut the steering tube the length. I uh, packed the bearings with grease, I put the plug in, and I preloaded the bearings based on the recommended torque spec, and then I torqued this in. And finally placed the uh, caliper and torqued it to specifications as well. One thing I really like about the Linsky frames is the threaded bottom bracket. And I'm using the Shimano BBR60 for that. Um, it goes in really easy. It's English threads. Uh, you just grease them up, torque them to spec, and you're done. It's really nice. I thought I'd go over the drivetrain for this build. I have a 5236 up front. I'm going to use this Zip well, the Zip 30 that has 1128 on the back. I'm going to change that to 1132. Uh, my knees do not do well in northern Alabama with 1128 anymore. Uh, I like to spin up the hills around here rather than grind and one aspect of living in northern Alabama is we have really steep grades not horribly long but steep so maybe the climbs a mile long but there's a lot of pitched up steep points to it and it's better for me to spin rather than grind a lot of folks I ride with they can get out of the saddle and grind up those things but as my knees age I think it's probably best for me to sort of spin up those hills. Okay, it's been replaced and signed. Okay, that's where I'll leave it today. Um, it's a little unorthodox putting the chain on without my derailleur cables in so I could set everything. But I'm just waiting on that handlebar, so I'm not going to mess with the derailleurs until I get the handlebar in so I can set all that right and the brake cables. So I went ahead and just went in a little unusual order to get the chain on. Got the uh, Silka titanium water bottle cages on. Put Got the cassette and new hub ready to go. So it's coming along. It's uh, going to be rideable soon. See you guys in the next episode.